we're gonna go into the license plate lights and to access these you're gonna go through the bottom as well like you access the uh, the actual backup lights so we're gonna go down here we already have our cowl open you're gonna go through here and all you're gonna do is stick your hand in here and there's gonna be a clip uh, I'm not sure if you can see it from up here but there's a clip here on the edge towards the center you're gonna push it and it'll release the whole assembly all right at this point you can disconnect the cable just like that and before I even do that just real quick I want to show you a quick comparison since we already have it in here that's our LED already our T10 we already installed it in there I'm gonna put this back in again one more time that's an aftermarket T10 okay you can see the color difference I put it back in you see that this is more of a warmer white compared to this one so our T10 is going to be much brighter than this one, okay? So just get that replaced. Disconnect it one more time. And all you got to do is just remove your plastic cover, which is held on by these things right here. So you press them in, it just pops out like that, okay? So these two sides, just squeeze them in and that will release it. So at that point, you can see the bulb is in there. And you can actually see some heat damage on it too. It's starting to become kind of like goldish on the side or like it looks almost like if it had a uh, rust. So I'm gonna pull that out. Just like that. You can see how those are wearing out already. And some are actually broken off. So we're gonna put this to the side. We got our last fit T10. Just slide it back in. Just like that. And before you even install this, always test, make sure that it actually works. You can see everything's working fine. We're gonna reinstall our casing. So what you're gonna do is make sure you line this guide up here. It's gonna go into this spot on the actual casing, okay? So what you're gonna do is compress these two as you're pushing it in. And just like that, goes in, okay? So make sure it's locked in place. You don't want this to fall off while you're driving. Once you secure that, you're gonna reinstall it. What I will do first is connect it. Like that. And then just slide it back into place. And one more thing, you wanna start with the edge outwards. Get that in there first. And just like that, it'll clip in. So guys, that's as simple as it is. Just replace both of them, same procedure for both sides. And as you can see, you got matching lights now, so they're not different colors, and it's gonna be much brighter. So for those who have a backup camera like he does, this will help you a lot. So guys, again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to let us know, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. And to finish this off, just simply remember to put back your cowl, put all your clips back in place, and you're good to go. Thank you for watching.